Temperatures expected to climb this week. We thought it would be a good idea to catch up with local first responders about staying safe. Yeah, NBC 5 Sid Boulay joins us from South Burlington with tips first responders recommend to take care of yourself and your loved ones. Sid. Brian, Liz, first responders say that it is key to stay hydrated. Now that means drinking a lot of water during the day and having snacks on hand. Plus, if you're going to be out and about driving around doing errands, they say remember the back seat. It'll help protect your passengers too. With more hot temperatures on the way, first responders say it's very important to make sure that you're staying hydrated. And when running errands, never leave a passenger in the car if it's turned off. Hot days, you know, vehicles can get really dangerously hot really fast. Um, on even days 70 degrees, your car's temperature can actually raise by one degree every minute. You can get up to temperatures as high as 120, 150 degrees. Doug Schmidt says even with the windows cracked, the internal temps can get dangerous fast. And one of the things we recommend to the people is leave an item of value wherever your loved one is, be it in the back seat, your wallet, purse, phone. Leave it back there so you remember to grab your loved one before you get out of your car. Because accidents can happen, if you see a child or a pet that's been left in a car, Schmidt says to call for help immediately. First thing you should do is call 911 and then do whatever you can to get that individual dog uh, or, or person out of there to get them cooled off into safety. Seconds count in those situations, so it's important to make sure that we're preventing any illnesses or injuries where we can. And whether you're in a car or walking on the road, pay attention to your body for these symptoms of heat exhaustion. They're on your screen right now. First responders say if you're having headaches, nausea, profuse sweating, or not sweating at all, changes in mental status, or are fainting or feel like you might faint, get to the shade immediately and call for help. If you are a loved one or experiencing any of those symptoms, we highly suggest stopping what you're doing, getting to a cool place and calling 911 so we can evaluate and take care of that person and potentially bring them to get some care that they need to cool down. More information about heat related illnesses and cooling centers across the state can be found on our website, mynbc5.com. Live in South Burlington, Sid Buley, NBC5 News.